The recent uh, Mekudeshet Festival in Jerusalem, a series of events explored the theme of music and the Holy Land. Our archaeology correspondent Shelby Weiner went to the City of David Museum to talk to some musicians. <laughs> When thinking of sacred music in Jerusalem, reggae often doesn't come to mind. But at this year's Mekudeshet Festival, Rasta Knight was only one of the many diverse acts on the lineup. The message is out and clear. It's bringing back Jerusalem to where, to what the prophets used to tell her, to tell about her. May this house be a house of prayers for everybody. So we're talking about everybody, every race, color, gender, whatever you want, and any kind of prayer. The three-week festival showcases a variety of spiritual art and music. For reggae artists, Horace Andy and Michael Prophet, visiting Jerusalem is sacred in itself. I walked through the Holy City. I saw where they, where they bury Christ. You know, that's, that's one of my greatest gifts I think I get. It's the vibes, you know. This is Jerusalem. Yeah, I read about it in the Bible growing up as a, as a kid. And now here I am. I'm, I'm trotted in, in your footsteps. Their concert is inside the historic Tower of David. We asked how they were spiritually affected performing in one of the holy city's most iconic buildings. I think uh, today I've been through an healing process. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Yeah, yeah, man. It's very good. I can't explain, man. It's just something to, to really explain. Well, it's just one big love. And for festival organizers, the context of turning locations like the Tower of David into a performance space is what makes the event unique. I think the background is right behind me. The background of the Kodesh Festival is Jerusalem, of course, and all the multi-layers that we have here in this amazing and fascinating city. And what we try to do every summer is try to address, address the main issues about Jerusalem via our language, which is art and culture. <laughs> For now, Jerusalem's reggae night is jamming with one love and one heart.